Hey, what's up guys, it's Harley here. Welcome back to the channel. Just wanted to give you an update um, on the Canyon Air Road seat post. Um, I've ridden about 1200, 1300Ks on it uh, since I've had it back from warranty. Just wanted to give you the update. Spoke to Canyon, um, got some new information on exactly what's happening with it. And I uh, just wanted to share that with you. <laughs> So guys, I've got a string of videos that you would have seen um, with the seat post, um, getting it warrantied. I had the cricket bat tape on it, um, then basically sent it back after five months, got it warrantied, came back. I've, I've shown you all the unboxing and all that in those videos. If you haven't seen them, I'll link them above. Um, but I've just done the, the actual testing on it for I think about 1200 Ks and there's been no squeaking. So I, I rang Canyon to actually find out because I was under the impression there was two different sleeves and they'd actually replace the sleeve with a new model. I rang Canyon Australia to find out what the model numbers were so I could tell you that um, on the channel. What I found out was there is actually no new sleeve. They just change manufacturers. Guys, while I've got you, please remember to like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Um, if you can give us a like, that would really help us uh, with the algorithm and get it out to other people. If you got something out of the video, please smash the like button for us. Um, leave us a comment below on what you think about the Canyon. So the sleeve part numbers are slightly different. I think from what I can tell, um, the, the original part in the 2021 had a number one on the end. Uh, the new part's got a number two on the end with all the numbers in front. So. Um, the only reason that exists is because they change manufacturers. So then I asked them, you know, what's, what actually happened? What, why is it not squeaking all the time now? What did you change? And, they, and they've effectively said that they've changed the grease that they, they have inside the seat post and inside the insert. Um, it's, it's much um, hardier, it, it's uh, better against protecting from water and things like that. Um, they've just changed that consistency of it. They told me that there was a guy who'd been done, who's done 12,000 Ks on his bike with that new grease and it hasn't squeaked, like creaked once. So, so far so good for me. Uh, I just wanted to give everyone who's, I mean it's a bit of a laughing stock that the Canyon Air, Air Road um, seat post design and people creaking and all that. And I asked them about that. I said, look, are you guys looking to change this? You know, because obviously it's a bit of an issue. Um, it seems to be, the main thing that's talked about with these canyons you know, as a problem. And he sort of brought a good uh, point up where he reckons that only, like it's less than 1% of all of the canyon air roads have had this creaking issue. And apparently there's like 10 or 15 guys around the world on YouTube that have actually put it up there and shown it. So he told me that it's not enough to um, incur a recall. And I sort of put it to, similar to the Shimano sort of setup with um, the cranks cracking and all that sort of stuff, because it's there's so many of them out there, um, you're gonna find that there's gonna be more of them that break, even though it's 1% of it, because you've got a you know a, a huge amount of them, um, it, it seems like there's a lot of them breaking and they're all breaking, etc. but from what they tell me, it's less than 1%, which is quite good. So I just wanted to tell everyone that, because look, it is my favorite bike. I mean, I've got S-Works and Amondas, and my Canyon's my favorite. Uh, it is, you know, it's a cheaper bike because you don't have to go through um, the, the shop. You know, it cuts out the middleman, so you can go straight from them. And when I've had an issue, I just ring Canyon, and Canyon Australia have been really good. Um, like most things with Aussies, we're pretty laid back, and, and you know, I sort of tend to believe what they say, um, and it, I find them genuine. And you know, I think they've copped a bit of a bad rap. And I just wanted to, first of all, make this video to, sh to tell people that hey, look, it's, it's whatever they've done's worked. Um, but then when I found out that other info, I just thought I'd let you know about that. I hope no one gets in trouble at Canyon for if, if someone sees this, but um, I think I, I owe it to them because I, I really love the bike. And as soon as it creaked, they warranted it straight away, sent it back, it's come back, it's working fine and it's brilliant. So that's my two cents worth with the Canyon. I think for that little bit of a creak, it's, it, you shouldn't not buy it because of that, is my, my personal opinion. Love to get your comments below. I know heaps of people, you know, are tearing shreds off the canyon because of it, and rightfully so. I was a big critic. I said, like, for 10 grand, I expect it not to creak, you know, um, and, and they warranted it. But like I said, there's only less than 1% of all the bikes out there that are canyons that have had the issue, according to Canyon Australia. So um, just wanted to tell you that, and, and look, I hope you, you know, 
you do get a Canyon, I think they're really good value for money. And um, yeah, just wanted to share that with you. So cheers. Well, that's it guys, that's my update on the Canyon. Um, less than 1% of, of them have it. That's why there is no recall. They are looking to upgrade it in future models. Um, they're always trying to improve it. So I don't know what that entails, but of course, and when I asked them, are you guys looking to, to, to make some changes? And they said, look, we're always gonna improve our products, uh, which is a good answer. Um, so yeah, not sure how they will do it, but at, at this stage, the grease is working. Um, like I said, a guy's done it for 12,000 Ks and it's been fine. Mine's fine at the, at the moment and I'll just keep re-greasing it every time I, I service the bike. So um, I think that alleviates the problem. So look, hope that gives you some sort of info. Um, yeah, and until next time, take it easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah.